Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'll be doing a wash day using all black owned brands. I'm starting off with the Melanin Hair Care African Black Soap Reviving Shampoo. I have been wanting to get my hands on these products to support Whitney, AKA Natural 85 on YouTube, a fellow natural hair YouTuber, she made these products and I've heard great things. So this is her very clarifying shampoo. I'm always a fan of scalp products that have little nozzles so you could apply it directly to your scalp. It has almost like a syrup consistency, but also smells like peppermint and gives you that cooling sensation. It's made with nutrient-rich cocoa and shea butters, along with nourishing and healing oils like argan oil, tea tree oil, black cumin, rosemary, peppermint, and turmeric root, just to name a few. So this is going to really target your scalp without stripping away any natural oils in your hair. To really clean my scalp, I'm gonna be using a scalp massager by PG, another black owned brand, and also fellow creator. And also remember to get the very back of your head. When we think about wanting to get hair growth and length, Remember that the bottom of your hair is going to show you the most length because that's the lowest part of your head. Then let's rinse it out and see how it feels. So my hair feels like squeaky clean. Like if I rub the top of my head, it's like. <laughs> um, so it doesn't really feel like drying at this point, but it is like a very clarifying shampoo. Just keep that in mind. But now let's put some moisture back in with the melanin hair care multi-use softening leave-in conditioner so usually when things are called a leave-in conditioner i usually don't like them as conditioners i feel like they're trying to do too much but the smell is like spearmint gum like straight up five gum so it says it can be used as a rinse out conditioner or a leave-in conditioner or as a detangler so i'm going to try just a finger detangle with just the leave-in and i was kind of having a hard time so i had to just keep applying more really get it in there i eventually was able to detangle but i wouldn't say that it has like super crazy amazing slip so I am going to bring out a brush to help me detangle. This one is also by PG. Once again, it's like a flexi brush to help me detangle because finger detangling was kind of taking too long. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. This did help a little bit, but it still wasn't very easy. So I can already tell from the consistency of this that this would probably make a better leave-in conditioner than it is a regular conditioner. It's just not very thick or creamy enough for me to detangle with in the shower, but I'm sure it'd be great to use as a pre-styler step out of the shower on wet hair. But now that I am done detangling, my curls look really good. I don't usually notice this much definition in the shower right after shampoo and conditioning so i do love my results and how everything turned out so now i'm going to rinse out the conditioner and go on to deep conditioning using another black owned brand briogeo this is briogeo's be gentle be kind avocado and kiwi mega moisture superfood mask and this smell is amazing talk about food it smells like a dessert you're going to want to take your spoon and take a bite like it's freaking yogurt but you do smell the kiwi, you don't really smell the avocado. It's green like avocado, but I love the fruity scent. And this is my favorite type of consistency for conditioners. It has that like, not like a thick creamy, but like a smooth slippery cream that has great slip. So now I'm gonna put it away using my Pattern Beauty Clip and now I'm going to wash my body with some black owned skincare. This is the LEL Glowing Body Wash with turmeric and carrot for acne and dark spots. My favorite thing about this brand is that the first ingredients are love and prayers, okay? If I could have some Jesus in my products, I know it's gonna be good. <laughs> it also has lemon in it, so I like to use this on my back where I still have some acne scars from past acne. I did suffer from back acne, it's one of like my insecurities. But here it is on YouTube, so if you have it, you are not alone. And I'm hoping that like the lemon and the turmeric will help make my skin more glowy and also clear up those dark spots. Now I'm grabbing the LEL Glowing Emulsified Face and Body Scrub. It's a very fine scrub, so it's not too abrasive for your face. I will admit that because of Black History Month, I was trying a bunch of different Black-owned skincare products and Black-owned makeup products. So I had like a slight little breakout after like a week of going crazy, which you're not supposed to do is try a bunch of products at one time, but I did. So I don't know like what caused the breakout, but because I got nervous, I ended up just switching to using the scrub on my back only instead of my face. 
If you want to see how I apply my makeup in this video, make sure you come back for part two where I do a full face using all black owned brands. Now let's go back to the hair using another PG accessory, their water bottle. This is a really great misting spray bottle to help re-wet your hair. And now for my styler of choice, I'm going to be using the TGIN, thank God it's natural, Curl Balm Moisturizing Styling Gel. This stuff is thick, like I had to pump it out and also has a really fun smell not too strong or overbearing so i'm going to apply this to one side at a time raking it in smoothing it down scrunching you know the deal and because it's thick i assumed it was going to be like really strong hold but as i read it again it's actually a light hold gel this gel is supposed to reduce frizz, enhance shine, great for all hair types, and it has a unique formula that aids in moisture retention while providing a long-lasting curl definition. Once I finish all my smoothing, scrunching, and flipping, I'm going to let it air dry, create a cast, and then diffuse and come back. And here are my final results. Not bad. I don't really have much of a hold anymore. I did diffuse my hair, so it is a little fluffy, but I am just starting to accept the fluff. I mean, I part of me wants to go back in and add a little bit more gel to these little fluffier pieces here, but it is giving me more volume and I kind of like the big hair looks. Let's see if we can make it even bigger. I'm gonna use my pick from Pattern Beauty. Oh yeah, there we go. So now that I read the bottle, it does say that it's a soft hold styling gel that gives curls definition without the crunch. And I would agree, there's no crunch. It is a very soft hold. That is why I'm getting like a little bit of frizz here on the sides and on the top. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of water, add a little bit more gel to my palms and kind of smooth down these flyaways. See, problem solved. But I do think that this would even give me even better results on day two. So I'm probably gonna refresh with this on day two and like it even more. It is a very, very thick gel. So I think I assumed it would be Stronghold because of that. It's kind of similar to the in shower style fixer consistency, but thicker. But even still, air dried, it did create a little bit of a cast, but then once I diffused, all the castles gone. So that is my complete black owned wash day. Let me know what product really caught your eye. What are your favorites? What do you want me to try next? How should I wear it to the side, middle part? Looks really good. And side note, everything on my face right now is also black owned. I got excited. I started playing with all my makeup products that I also bought from Ulta and Target and Spoiler alert, these are the results. If you wanna see me do my makeup, come back next week for my next video to watch me use all black owned makeup products. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. And you also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.